watching the blog right here on Cool TV 196, and we have a very special guest in the house. Maybe by now you can tell who it is. Okay, well, let me give you an introduction anyway. She's a product of two, not one, but two Nigerian parents from Delta State. Yes. And uh, <laughs> she was born and raised in Texas. Yeah, she's, she's a Southern Belle with that beautiful Niger twist. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, so Emma Naira uh, has acted in Nollywood, USA. Uh, she's open for artists such as P Square, Jay Martins, Two Faced Dibia, Iyanya, Basket Mouth, among several others. And uh, currently, she's the first lady of Made Men Music. Emma Naira, welcome to the blog. Thank Ladies, you. give it up for Emma Naira. <laughs> welcome. I love your your, your nails. Oh, Hi. thank you. Very different. Shout out Q and M Lounge. Oh, Nigeria. lucky. Uh, nice yeah. plug in. I you plug in. Yeah. <laughs> guys, it's <laughs> gold. Stop, 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 stop. Okay, that's what I'm talking yeah. about. <laughs> so, um, you've been doing your thing for a little while. But I want to go to one question that I don't think a lot of people are even aware. You've done some presenting. Yeah, a lot of presenting. So are you like a presenter as well? Um, I present, I act, I model. I'm just an entertainer. I've done um, a little bit of everything. I've hosted radio shows. I actually worked at Cool FM for three days. Uh, what happened? <laughs> three, that's how I know the MD, yeah. What actually, um, when I moved to Nigeria in 2012, okay. I wanted to work here. I actually came the same week as Mercy came. So oh. in the office, we're the ones that used to like mess everybody up, you know. I had a crazy accent and she had her own crazy accent so wow. um that unfortunately that week my grandmother died so oh, when i went gosh. back for the burial and came back they were like no we know you're an artist we don't think we know you went for a show and i was like no 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 my grandma actually passed oh but they didn't believe me so they fired me and oh. <laughs> So, but, but yeah, I was here for, even the receptionist downstairs, they remember me. I was here for, for three good days. Wow. Actually, I was floating for like a week, and then I started officially. I had my name tag for three days, and then when I came back from Asaba. And wow. we can't really react. <laughs> like, we can't. Like, wow. We can't like, say anything. Wow. Really, guys? Wow. Really? Yeah. Well, you know what? Everything works out. A uh, good thing is, I mean, clearly the, you weren't shut out. You, no. You're able to come into I'm sure you've been here for uh, for interviews a lot. Yes, so. Yeah. so you're practically family. Yeah. So, yeah, cool so welcome family. back home. Thank you. <laughs> but that's good. So you, you do have the presenting background and mm -hmm. you're acting as well. Mm -hmm. Wow, that's really cool. Um, why are you and Yanya yeah, not a couple yet? <laughs> Because you're both like so hot. I'm serious, ladies. I come think on. You are I, I, know. I think I should answer that for you. In okay, fact, I feel insulted that you would say she should date Yaya. <laughs> I mean, look at, look, look, at big, the, look at the fine girl. Are you aware Yaya is a boss? Yaya is a fine boss. That was the worst. Oh, God. <laughs> No, let me tell you why. I mean, I can't. Let me tell you why I can't date Yaya for uh -huh. now. Did y'all ever have a date? Every, for, for now. Let me know. Never is never. But mm -hmm. why can't you keep it straight? For reason, the reason why, listen, I can't date him because I'm with him 24 hours a day. And can I just clear his reputation? Yaya is a good boy. He is. He's yeah. actually a good boy. No, no, why you say good? He yeah. can be bad. Wait, wait, what's but, the definition of good? Thank God you just said he can be bad. I've seen mm. we can go out mm. for a show or just on a regular day, just go mm. out. I've seen women write their numbers on their bras, uh, tissue paper, serviettes, anything, and just be slip it to them. So, yeah, good and he'll be like, like he'll, he'll even be like this, like, whoa. Mm. I've seen, I've seen mm. everything. I, we always say, since I'm always with men, I've been, I've been in Made Men Music Group for two years now. Mm. Women are bad too. Men have we a bad know, reputation. We know, we know, but back Women, to Men have a very bad reputation, but for the most part, I would have to say it's pretty, it's pretty. Oh, innocent. isn't he such it's a decent, pretty. innocent guy? No, no, he's not innocent. <laughs> Definitely <laughs> not innocent. He's not innocent. In fact, But he's not, not as bad as people would assume no, he is. No, no. Yeah, he's actually quiet in real life. He's actually very actually yeah, quiet. Yeah, he's quiet yeah, in real life. He's just a boy, the guy, fine. So yeah. you, all, you all should consider it at some point. But anyway, what do you have in the pipelines as far as music goes? <laughs> um, I just dropped my new single for my Mata. Um, the video is dropping soon. And the song was produced by DJ Coplon, who's the newest member of Made Men Music Group. So you the song is doing well. Skele Bobo. Skele. Oh, yeah. And then you left. Yeah, right. I left for a little while. I didn't really leave. My contract lapsed. Okay. And when they asked, I did a, an interview for, um, I won't mention the TV station. I did an interview with them. They asked me if I was Made Men Music Group. And I was like, no, I'm not right now. Because contractually, I wasn't. So when something that interview happened. ran, yeah, something, something. Something had, uh, uh, Yeah, on. definitely. You're but, talking to you the know, blog. Legally, on. I can't say. Oh, may I ask a question? You know you were asking. No, no, this was very innocent, actually. <laughs> you, uh, she asked if you were going to, why you guys aren't dating yet. And uh, you said. Uh, what was the answer again? That, not, that she knows not for, now. Not for now. For now, yes. Yeah. So yeah. I want to ask, have you guys ever had any intimate relation? I was with oh, an intimate what right? you, <laughs> <laughs> you want to know about? Yes. 
no. <laughs> your waist. I've no. been touching your waist. I think no, yeah, it's contagious. So if, if anything ever happened, I wouldn't be able to just. <laughs> it's, not oh, it. it's not a disease. It's not a disease. It's just like well, you know. I it's so much of a bull <laughs> I've seen, you know, I've seen him date a couple of women, and I, I can tell you that Yaya doesn't send women away. He ah. doesn't. If you just crace on your own, you crace. Oh, so he didn't send Ivan Nelson. This is now that him. one. I I know the real story behind that Ivan Nelson oh, whole thing. Oh, do you want to share? Do share. But, share. Um, but oh, <laughs> oh. tea. Oh, but no. Made it's always music. don't just. Don't. Oh. <laughs> what you see in media, God, I'm, I'm glad shows like this, the blog exists, so that people know that. When you see us talk, that's what really is going on. When you read something on the internet, it's it's ninety percent of it is just added hype. Mm -hmm. It's all added. You know what I'm saying? It's it's fabrication because people don't want to read that you're doing well ninety percent of the time. They mm -hmm. want to read that oh you fell, oh somebody got sick, oh somebody got gained weight. That's what they want. Especially as a female, we go through a lot of things. People talk about the way we look. The way we dress. If my eyebrow is not right, they'll say, I'm a narrow, your eyebrow, we no try. Like, they, they really, they enter you. So, I mean, social media is crazy. What you read and hear is, is always. And I love the way you just deviated from our relationship. So, are you in any relationship? Right now, mm. actually, I am. Please don't what? say it's music. Don't, don't. Is it, is it a musician? Don't say it's no. with music. An actor? No. Entertainment industry? Your music? Uh, somebody that nobody knows. Okay. Oh, okay. Does he have money? <laughs> Before. <laughs> <I'm just asking>. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Hello, my name is Emma Naira. Clear. Y'all are looking for my trouble. Why y'all looking for my trouble? So you're the first lady of made men music. How man. does that make you feel? Do you do you get um, do you feel out of place sometimes among all those no, men? I'm the mom, the sister, the, the annoying. I'm everything. I'm the girl. I'm the only girl, so I always get my way. You know, women, we Ooh, always get our way. So oh. but I like being around men because men don't really know how to hold grudges. You know, it's are good. you sure? <laughs> a lot of them do. <laughs> a lot, you know, a lot of men have female characteristics, but for the most part, there's nothing like you know, me having uh, beef with anybody for even a day, you know. That's good. If I just yeah. give one eye like this, I'd be like, okay. Right. No, but they don't really, there's no, you know, angriness. But do, do females that try to come around the guys in uh, Made Men Music, do they ever look at you like, oh, this one is going to come and try and spoil you for us? No, a lot of them are nice to me because they want something from me. <laughs> yeah. A lot of, like, I fans. Like girl. If we go on tour, I can't tell you how many girls have bought me stuff. Oh, really? Then? Yeah, because they like G, they like Yana, they like, you know what I'm saying? Sele, they like techno. When we went on this US tour, um, techno, this is techno's first time going on the US tour. So he was overwhelmed by how women, you know, in Nigeria we like to form. Sorry, yeah. no offense, but yeah, we, we form yeah, a no, lot. We in America, they, he didn't even know how to act. He wanted, instead of running to the woman, he wanted to run and hide because he was scared. <laughs> like, <laughs> take it, take it. They get wild. It yeah. was scary. Like, it's crazy. But um, the male fans are like that on a, on a coded. Mm. <laughs> on a coded so, okay, okay, so is the reverse your case? Like, sometimes do they have to beat away male fans for you? Oh, gosh. Uh -oh. Mine is that a lot of guys try and um, they're kind of scared of Yaya. <laughs> so, of Yaya? <laughs> yeah. They, they, they don't really. They're not inappropriate, know. if you will. Mm. They're very nice. You know, they'll approach me. And it's, not, it's nothing like, it's different from female, mm. let's say groupies, if you will. <laughs> or okay. or over, overzealous <laughs> fans, or however you would like to put it. It's a big difference because, you know, the culture for musicians mm. is women always lose it. That's, that's just how they genuinely show how much they love the person because they know once we go to America, once we go to London, you may not see us again. Mm. You may not be able to go to that concert that you went to last year or even that artist may not be able to travel again at that particular time. So every time they see you, it's like a genuine love. It's like a, a craze, if you will, that type of thing. Mm. Okay, so we've spent more time than we're supposed to be. <laughs> You're so much fun. <laughs> we enjoyed you. So much I like fun. Her. All right, I so like before her. you go, push out your social media handles in case people want to know what's up. Okay, um, my social media, at Emma Naira, that's Twitter, Instagram, same for Facebook, same for Keek, same for Snapchat. It's Emma Naira, E-M-M-A-N-Y-R-A. -M -M -A -A. And I do want to give a shout out to Kel because she is a female artist and she really, you know, paved the way for all of us, you know. Aww. It's true. No, yeah. You know, I gotta, no, I gotta give Kel because you know it's not being a female artist is one of the hardest. It's so hard. Titi, shout out to you, Titi. Leave our show. Okay, we've had the beautiful Emma Nara, but the show is not yet over. We're gonna go on a brief break. This is the blog on Cool TV. We'll be right back. Ow.